Hey students, in today's video, I'm going to cover question number 15 of your EOT. Okay, as per this question, apply the conservation law of momentum. What is that? P initial should be equals to P final. And total kinetic energy means K kinetic energy initial should be equals to kinetic energy final for elastic collision in one dimension to relate the initial kinetic energy and momentum of the two colliding bodies okay if we have the two cases two bodies so their momentum should be equals to the kinetic energy means the momentum are uh, initial and final are same and initial kinetic energy is equals to final kinetic energy before collision to their final kinetic energies and momenta after collision same thing huh? Okay, now I'm going to cover two major questions for you. Huh? So you need to focus on this. The N alpha particle mass for you. Okay, whenever the question will come, I told you, you have to make body one and body two. Just make like this. And now the whole question will become easier for you. Okay, you need to write mass one velocity one initial velocity one final clear mass two velocity two initial velocity two final if you have all these data you can solve anything okay mass is for you you can write four u is the unit has a head on elastic collision with the nucleus mass 166 u that is initially at rest initially at rest means zero clear who is at rest second body fine okay what percent percent means we have to take a ratio of kinetic energy of the alpha particle is transferred to the nucleus in the collision okay so we need to find the percentage of the kinetic energy First thing, what exactly we are looking for? We are looking for, see, if I'm looking for kinetic energy, so I'm looking for kinetic energy of half m v 2 f square. Yes or no? You understand? Okay. And if I'm looking for the kinetic energy of body 1, kinetic energy initial, that is equals to half m1 here m2 huh? m1 v1 i square yes or no you understand this part sure okay let's say vi is any velocity v any velocity v so can i say kinetic energy is half m1 is your 4 and v square yes or no clear okay for here we need to find the velocity too for that we are looking for v2 f i told you the formula for this m1 plus m2 okay plus down m1 plus m2 okay just focus what we are looking for. okay v1 i v2 i okay these are the things what we are looking for we are looking for case Two. this is for 2 so for 2 I told you what is the formula 2 times of m1 2 times of m1 and here m2 minus m1 you remember in the previous videos also I covered this part this is the formula so you need to find v2 f is equals to twice of m1 is 4 4 plus 1 double 6 v1 i okay v plus what is m2 m2 is 166 minus 4 divided by just solve it uh, 166 plus 4 v2 i that is your zero so what we have v2 f is equals to 8 divided by 170 v solve this you will get 4 over 85 v clear sure okay place this value here what is kinetic energy 2 now kinetic energy 2 half m m2 is your 166 multiply 4 over 85 v whole 
square this is your equation number two and this is your equation number one clear guys now we have both the things now solve it now we are looking for kinetic energy ratio so kinetic energy two divided by kinetic energy one means how much percentage it is forwarded so half multiply 166 multiply 4 uh, i'll make it easier for easy method huh? just to convert this thing so that you can put it directly okay solve this kinetic energy 2 is equals to half what i'm looking for 4 and v square okay solve this multiply 166 multiply 4 v divided by 85 square so 4 by 85 multiply 4 by 85 multiply v square can i say this thing yes or no okay take half take 4 take v square so what is this half times 4 times v square bracket 166 multiply 1 over 85 multiply 4 over 85 yes or no so can i say this is your kinetic energy initial one so kinetic energy 2 is equals to kinetic energy 1 times okay solve this one 166 multiply 4 divided by 85 into 85 so you will get 0 0.0919 so in terms of percentage can i say it is transferred it is transferred so kinetic energy 2 is equals to 9.19 percent of kinetic energy 1 clear fine in percentage so multiply with 100 clear fine okay so like this you need to understand and the major key point whenever you are looking for kinetic energy final means second 2f initial means 1i again i am telling you if you are looking for kinetic energy so one initial and kinetic energy final two final remember these things huh? okay now next question this is your 7.51 and this is our question okay just focus here very interesting question and i told you whenever you have the two bodies so body one and body two okay if you are focusing like this then the question will become easy m1 v1 i v1 f m2 v2 i v2 f okay a 0.280 kg ball okay mass one is given 0.280 kg has an elastic head-on collision with the second ball that is initially at rest so this value is 0 meter per second the second ball moves off with half the original speed okay let's say original speed is v so what is the final speed can i say v divided by 2 yes or no of the first ball what is the mass of second ball okay we are looking for m2 okay and we are looking for v1 f also okay guys now it's easy to solve it and second the fraction of original kinetic energy okay what is original kinetic energy i told you kinetic energy original kinetic energy original is half m v 1 i square and what is your final half m v 2 f square yes or no we need to just check the ratio also okay now what we need to do we are looking for first of all the velocities v1 f okay as per elastic collision elastic collision we have a simple rule v1 i change the color v1 i plus 
V1F should be equals to V2I plus V2F. This is the basic rule and we need to solve according to this rule. Okay, V1I is V as we know. V1F we are looking for equals V2I is 0, V2F is V divided by 2. Okay, we already find out all the values. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, so we are looking for V1F is equals to V divided by 2 minus V which is equals to negative V over 2. Clear till here? Okay, now we are looking for part A. Solve M2. We know momentums P1I plus P2I is equals to P1F plus P2F. The momentum should be the same. So M1 V1I plus M2 V2I is equals to M1 V1F plus M2 V2F. Clear? Okay, place the values. So V1 is V. M1 is your, what is the value of M1? 0 0.28. V1 is V plus M2 V2I. V2I is 0. Okay. So remove this. Equal. Change the color. Equal. Okay. M1 V1F. M1 0 0.28. V1F. V1F is negative V over 2. Okay. Plus M2. We are looking for M2. And V2F is V by 2. These are the values. Okay. Now solve the value of M2. Okay. Take this value this side. 0 0.28V. Outside. 1 plus 1 over 2. Equals m2 v2 divided by 2 okay cancel the v2 okay v2 is equals to v na okay so now cancel this v and v cancels so take to this side 2 multiply 0 0.28 1 plus half 3 over 2 okay so equals to m2 so m2 is equals to 0 0.840 kg clear fine okay now what we are looking for second part second part second part what is the fraction fraction means in terms of percent original kinetic energy is transferred to the second ball okay we are looking for part b so kinetic energy initial which is equals to half m1 v1 i square solve this what is the value guys solve it solve it solve it fast fast okay so we have the value half okay might be there is a problem let me check it okay half okay m1 is your 0 0.28 multiply what is v1i okay v square okay kinetic energy final is your half m2 v2 final square so half m2 is your 0 0.84 multiply what is the final v divided by 2 square okay now just divide them this is your 1 this is your 2 so equation 2 divided by 1 okay solve them so kinetic energy final divided by kinetic energy initial is equals to half multiply 0 0.84 multiply v square divided by 2 divide okay, change the color half multiply 0 0.28 multiply v square okay now cancel them v square is cancelled with v square half is cancelled with half so what will you get 0 0.84 divided by 2 multiply 0 0.2 8. so guys solve this solve this solve this you will get 0 0.75 so in terms of percentage in terms of percentage can i say 75 percent clear understand so guys now with this part 
we finished with all the 15 questions of your mcq and i already cover the writing part so guys now today after this video we finished with all the eot so now from my side guys all the very best for your final exam and more you will practice more confidence you will get and i believe that you will practice very hard so that during the exam you will feel confident and you can solve all the question without any pressure so guys with these words from my side all the very 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 best and good luck thank you guys take care